Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I thought I'd do a video on charity shops. Um, there seems to be quite a lot of talk about charity shops at the moment and um, I haven't really done one of these sit down and talk about things videos. I've been doing a lot of haul videos, as as you know. Um, so this is really to, to sort of give you my thoughts and maybe get your thoughts on charity shops and pricing and it's always a bit of a, uh, a thing, isn't it, with resellers? Because... Um, you'd hope it's one of the places you would source a lot of stock from now I used to uh, years ago um, and I still do try if I'm passing but I do not use charity shops really um, it, the way it's gone um, it's it's not any good for me which is uh, a bit sad really because I used to love going around the charity shops and browsing and seeing what they've got um, but I only tend to do that like I say if I'm passing I won't make a special trip now obviously charity shops have to make their money and I you know don't want them to lose out on any money that they could potentially get but when I was thinking about this and I was chatting on this on the on um, Kieran's channel and rummage around with Global Thrifters and with Lee and with Kieran and I was sort of putting the point across that in my simple mind <laughs> simple minds um, I really do think that if they cut their prices a bit they would make more profit and it's it's all about supply and demand obviously you know um, and as resellers we all know that you can you price something really high and really wish that you're going to get it and some people will hold out for that and they might get it eventually but to make most profit really I think you need to price to sell and move on and move on to the next thing and the thing that really kind of um, I don't understand is that charity shops I mean if I priced everything really competitive in my store you know say if I put everything on at 30% of what it what it's on at the moment yeah it would fly out and um, but the trouble is I would then have to work to replace that and I'd have to pay for it now if you're a charity shop you don't really have to work to replace it because you are getting donations so it doesn't cost any money to replace the stuff and um, you know it's it's easy to get you don't have to put the work in to get it um and maybe maybe i'm oversimplifying things but i mean i i do not get i understand it's got to be priced right and priced fairly but it should be priced to sell especially when you see when i see things in charity shops that have been there for months on end and i see that they have big back rooms fall to the rafters of stock it kind of doesn't make sense to me um, yeah, and like I say I don't think they should give it away but uh, you, you've got to think about you know where you are in the chain um, it's like when I buy off traders they won't well you, I do get some traders that try and sell it at like end prices at, at, at kind of eBay prices um, but that's not going to work you know because what you're really looking for there is that end consumer coming along and going oh, there it is there's the there's the widget that I wanted that I've been looking for and a lot of the time that doesn't happen so I'm going to run through an example I mean I do I do oversimplify things okay I know I do this but it's how I can get it working in my head okay so this is a pair of shoes I gave this sort of was talking about shoes yesterday because it's a good example round here um you you can't get a pair of shoes in a charity shop for you know it's 20 quid basically unless you're lucky but it's 20 quid um so let's say for example i'm going to run through an example i like doing this charity shop gets 10 pairs of shoes in a month okay donated boom and it prices them at 20 quid okay now say this happens every month so they might sell if they price them at 20 quid i would reckon and this is plucked out of thin air but i'd reckon they might sell one pair in that month so one pair gets sold 20 quid nice 
And the rest, well, they hang around and they hang around and they hang around. And eventually, you know, you could say they, yeah, eventually they might get sold. But like the next month, you're going to get another 10 and the next month, you're going to get another 10. So let's say that one pair gets sold and the other nine go off and get sold to the ragman or whoever picks them up in the big white vans with the big bags and they get sold for a pound a pair and that might be generous i mean honestly i've got no idea on these numbers so i'm picking it out so you know so one pair sold nine pairs sold by weight for a pound a pair for nine pound nine pairs nine pound so it'd be total sales of 29 pound in my hypothetical world now if they price those shoes at five pound which i think you know and i'm talking about like you know just bog standard clark shoes whatever i'm not talking about dms dms could be more whatever uh, nice shoes could be more if they're um i can't think of a pair of nice shoes but you know if you you know if you've got a pair of cola flipper shoes you know they're going to be a bit more but if they were priced at on or around five pound and i'm sure in some areas this is the prices you see um i think they would sell all 10 pairs and that's what you want you want the stock cleared money in hand um ready for the next month to bring in your next lot of donations and you know to have that shop running you know the the best shops are the leanest shops i mean my my ebay shop isn't that lean but i do look you know i look at other other resellers and you know those resellers who have um a couple of hundred items in their shop but they're creating the sales that's that's the way to do it isn't it so yeah you know if they had 10 pairs of 10 pairs of shoes don donated every month on average sold them all five pound each 50 pound sales 50 pound compared to 29 pound not a massive like backlog in the stockroom not stuff hanging around on your shelves for you know months on end and I said yesterday, you know, I, I go into charity shops and um, the best stuff I see in there, the stuff that catches my eye is the stuff that I've donated like over three months ago. And I'm like, why is it still here? And the reason it's still there is because it's priced too high. Um, and I think, yeah, fair, you know, shops can list stuff on eBay and they do, charity shops, and good luck to them, that, you know, they might get them. But when it's in the shop, it needs to be a price not reflecting an eBay price. That's my opinion. Let me know what you think. Like I say, it doesn't affect me. I'm not. I'm not saying they should decrease the price so I can buy the stock cheaper, um, because I don't buy in charity shops anymore. I've. Um, it's not worth my my time or effort. Um, the angle I'm coming at this from is. I think they would make more money if um, if they lowered their prices. But um, th those are my thoughts. Um, I'd, it'd be interesting to see, I was saying this yesterday, um, how much um, charity shops have made in profit, say, 10 years ago. I think 10 years ago, um, you could definitely say, I mean, even five years ago, that... The, the the increase in prices hadn't happened it, it was really like charity shops they've gone boutique -y, you know they've got they've gone boutique -y and they're they're looking up prices on on the internet more which i think is a bit of a wrong move so it'd be interesting to compare what the profit is now compare you can compare it to turnover if you want but you know um as to what it was five or ten years ago and adjust the, the profit five or ten years ago um with inflation and and see see what it is in real terms um because as a, i bet there's a lot more money um i bet there's a lot more stock not being sold i bet there's a load of stock being sold being ended up going to the ragman or being you know just chucked yeah i bet there's so much potential there that it's just being wasted um but there's lots of stuff I don't know, and I'll be the first to admit that. So I might be I might be shot down in flames by the comments. Who knows? Um, I'm going to put in a little clip of a, a little bit of window shopping I did at the end. Um, it's very windy. I do apologise for that. Sound isn't great. 
um, but it shows a Nintendo DS that is being sold for 25 quid just with a charger a load of Sega games and there were some iPod shuffles now I've got to say you know the iPod shuffles might be worth it um, I think they were like being sold for £10 and they potentially could be worth 20 quid so that might be worth it to resell um, so obviously there is still stuff out there but um, for me it's actually not worth the time for a special visit uh, you know if, I, if I'm taking half a day out and I come back with two items that I've managed to get that's not worth it for me anyway I hope you enjoyed that um, let me know your thoughts in the comments about charity shops and how you you're finding them I think generally they're getting more difficult but that's just the way it is you just got to um, get on and uh, suck it up and find you know another source of um, items to resell you know Facebook marketplace Spock Gumtree eBay even uh, you just got to adapt and adjust um, your strategies Anyway, take care. I'll leave you with this clip and uh, let me know your thoughts. See you later. So just um, coming back from dropping my eldest off at school, I thought I'd do a bit of window shopping. So this is what you can get from St Raphael's Hospice. $24.95. I mean, Nintendo's, that's not even with, that's with a car charger and a case. I normally sell those for 20 quid on eBay. Um, got a bag of dungeon there. 30 quid. Um, some other, it looks like a camcorder. A Kodak camcorder, 15 quid. I've never sold these iPods, 10 quid each. They're probably worth a fiver on eBay. And a few other bits down there. And then in the next window, some more gaming stuff. So there we go, Mario Kart. I'd sell that with a wheel for. Um, Sorry, it's not focused for 20 quid so 18 quid in there whole load of mega drive games like pga crap they're probably worth like two three four quid on ebay it's just ridiculous really but they priced them all up at nine quid look fifa soccer five quid it's fodder really there is a pokemon game there on the ds for a tenner so I might look that one up. And then um, oh, GTA on Game Boy Advance for 30 quid. Just bonkers really. Absolutely bonkers. Because anyone who's looking for that, you know, I think they're thinking that, that the one person who wants it, who isn't going to just go on eBay and order it or Amazon and order it, is going to be wandering through Carshorton High Street. and. Um, Popping in here. Trivial Pursuit Disney. I mean, that should be like, I don't know, it should be like a fiver max in a charity shop. They've got it up for 25 quid. Absolutely bonkers. So, um, I mean, it won't sell. That's the thing. It won't sell and it will just get churned over and the stock will pile up in the back room. But there you go. I uh, thought I'd show you that.